last hour announcing it's going to begin to execute hostages and post mm -hmm. video evidence mm -hmm. online for every Israeli airstrike. Your thoughts on this <clears throat> moment, Senator? Well, for every Israeli or American hostage executed uh, by Hamas, we should uh, take down an Iranian oil refinery. The only way you're going to keep this war from escalating is to hold Iran accountable. How much more death and destruction do we have to take <clears throat> from the Iranian regime? I am confident this was planned and funded by the Iranians. Hamas is a bunch of animals uh, who deserve to be treated like animals. So if I was Israel, I would go in on the ground. There is no truce to be had here. I would dismantle Hamas. This is the best opportunity Israel has to destroy Hamas. Take it to the Iranians. If you harm one American in Syria by using your Iranian militia against us in Syria, if you escalate the war by urging Hezbollah to attack Israel in the north, if Hamas kills one American or Israeli hostage, we're going to blow up your oil refineries and put you out of business. It is now time to take the war to the Ayatollah's backyard. Uh, Senator, I want to get your reaction to this because I think you probably will have a strong reaction uh, to it. This is further to the uh, headline. <laughs> Uh, they came out a little while ago about Hamas now saying it's open to negotiations. According to Reuters, let me read this <laughs> yeah. here off the wire, a senior Hamas official said the group is open to discussions over a possible truce with Israel, having, quote, achieved its targets. Uh, when you look at what happened Saturday, yeah. that would mean that its targets that it achieved we're killing yeah. young people at a music festival, killing children right. in their homes, killing old people yeah. in their homes, and kidnapping many and taking them into Gaza. Your reaction? Uh, well, Hamas is a, is a terrorist group uh, that celebrates the killing of the innocent. Iran's regime, led by the Ayatollah, is a bunch of religious Nazis. They want to purify Islam in their own Shia image. They want to destroy the Jewish state and eventually come after us. This is an effort to kill all the Jews. The last time this happened was Adolf Hitler. The world was late to react. I'm urging the world to condemn Haran. I'm urging the Biden administration to cloak the White House tonight in the Israeli flag. You did it for Pride Month. I want to see the Israeli flag over the White House. The Brandenburg Gate has the Israeli flag. The Sydney uh, uh, Music Hall has the Opera House has the, uh, the flag. Number 10, Downing, has the Israeli flag. Small things go a long way. But I want this administration to tell the Iranians any escalation using Hezbollah to attack Israel or killing of hostages, we will hold you accountable. I can only stress this so much. The Iranians depend on oil revenue for their uh, livelihood. The money to sponsor terrorism comes from the oil industry uh, owned by the Ayatollah. Destroy it. There are four refineries. Destroy it. Tell the Iranians you escalate any further, then we're going to destroy your oil industry, and eventually we're going to have to deal with this uh, regime by taking it down. I don't want war, but I don't want to live like this either. This is hell on earth. This is barbaric. What they did to these Israelis should be severely condemned by all the Arab world. I am going to still pursue relationships between Saudi Arabia and Israel. I talked to the Israeli ambassador this morning. I talked to the Saudi ambassador this morning. Both of them said they're a thousand percent confident this attack launched by Iran through Hamas was designed to de uh, derail the effort of normalizing between Saudi and, and Israel. A death blow to Iran would have the Arab-Israeli conflict in, end. They think this is about stopping efforts for Saudi, Israel, and the United States to do a peace deal. I will be going to the region soon. I want to let the Iranians know that we're more intent on doing this deal than ever. Your efforts to undercut peace between Saudi Arabia and Israel is going to fail, and we need to let them know they're a legitimate military target. Nine Americans are dead because the Ayatollah planned an attack. He could give a damn if Americans were involved. They're threatening to execute innocent hostages. For God's sake, tell the Ayatollah, if you kill one hostage, you launch another attack uh, by Hezbollah against Israel, we're going to blow your industry off the map, your oil industry. Uh, Senator, um, right now just getting an update from David Spunt, uh, our co correspondent, um, checking with the FBI as, as uh, we continue to report 
Uh, the FBI and DHS are constantly coordinating, currently see no credible threats to the U.S. homeland uh, following the terrorist attacks in Israel uh, and yeah. the rhetoric that we have seen over the weekend and those continued protests on the ground uh, just a couple of blocks from here. Yeah. Senator, the Wall Street Journal editorial board writes this this morning on the assault on America's closest Middle East <clears throat> ally, a warning about how dangerous <clears throat> the world is becoming. As U.S. power and will recede, bad actors feel empowered to fill the vacuum. American isolationists yeah. on the right and left may wish to look away, but the U.S. cannot Amen. dodge the consequences. Refugees from socialist failure in the Americas are flooding over the U.S. border, and sooner or later the U.S. will become a military target. The consequences of post-Cold War complacency are coming fast and furious. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Uh, spot on. So. To the Biden administration, your appeasement policies toward Iran is not working. To the squad, shut the hell up. You're emboldening the enemy. You're a disgrace to the United States Congress. You're siding with terrorists over a democracy called Israel. Uh, you've lost your perspective here. I, I'm confident most Democrats do not agree with the squad. Bottom line is Biden and Obama have appeased the Iranians to the point of where we are today. If you pull the plug on Ukraine and let Putin get away with this, he will not stop. We'll be in a war between NATO and Russia. We have a chance to reset the world here. Defeat Putin in the Ukraine, dismantle Hamas now, and tell the Iranians, if you escalate any more attacks coming from Iran, we're coming after you. Anything short of that is going